Okay, so I'm now going to download and install uh, Samsung. So to do this, I need to be logged in and I go to the download page and I click on uh, Get Samsung. And I save the file, save the installer, and uh, it tells me that my Samsung key was sent to my email address. And indeed, here I have received the activation key that I'm going to uh, copy so I can use it uh, during installation. Okay, so the file is uh, downloaded now. I'm going to start it. And the, the process is pretty much similar on uh, Mac and uh, Linux, but here I'm on Windows and um, Samsung Connect detected that I'm, I'm on Windows and sent me the, the Windows installer. So I run the installer. Welcome, you're about to install Samsung. Next. Next, I enter my email address. Stefan Redden at samsungconnect.net the key I have received by email. I can click on advanced mode if I want to uh, specify the a custom installation path and a Samsung version but if I don't click if I don't check that box then it's going to download the latest version of Samsung but maybe if you're a developer you want to to have the old versions uh, to make your Samsung 11 elements uh, work on these older versions as well. But anyway, we encourage you to always download the latest version. I'm going to add a desktop icon and a start menu shortcuts as well. These options uh, are available on, uh, on Windows. So I hit next. And now the installer uh, downloads uh, the rest of the installation package. Installs everything. And I can click next. So and I can choose to immediately start Samsung and visit Samsung Connect. But I'm not going to do it because I want to show you that the icon was indeed installed um, on the desktop. Okay, thank you very much. And in the next video, I'm going to actually start Samsung and show you uh, what happens. Thank you.